Hello friends, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So, I have a brown box here. Let's see what's inside. Pretty excited. A little tiny package. All right, here in this little teeny tiny box, we have the Intel Core i7 7700K processor. Now, this is just one piece to uh, an entire awesome machine that I'm building now. I'm just waiting to get all the parts, but you'll see it here on dragonblogger.com or Dragon Blogger's YouTube site. Um, well, let's do the unboxing real quick and see what's inside. So. Just a plain little teeny tiny box. As you can imagine, there probably is no processor in here. I'm sorry. There probably is no fan in here. So anyway, let's get inside real quick. All right, guys, here's the box and the processor is inside. On the side, just to have over here some of the specs on the back. You can see the actual processor there, right in here, on the side, serial number, UPC, all that good stuff, the bottom, stuff there, the top, pretty blue, matches my phone, but anyway, all right, again, here's the processor, so <clears throat> let's open it up real quick. Put this down just for right now. And a little manual here. Nothing else inside. All right. This kind of shows you or tells you how to install the processor, about their three year limited warranty and the logo labels and everything. So it's got a sticker in here too. So let me go ahead and open this up. I had my knife with me, but I don't know where I put it. That's okay. All right, so just basic documentation. I don't believe that the instructions are gonna be very handy, but no worries, as I always do, I'm going to give you a video soon on how to install the processor and everything. Here is the little sticker on the back, and the instructions just seem to be plain text. Maybe I'm missing it. Yeah, text is good and everything, but this kind of stuff, you need pictures or videos, but again, oh, look at that, I saw some pictures. All right, so here they kind of show you a generic, uh, which it's gonna be the same for everything, generic picture on how to install it, but again, don't worry about it, I'm going to do a video for you. And then here we actually have the processor itself. So be careful when you take it out. The top is fine to touch, though you probably don't want to do it. The grease from your fingertips and then the, the thermal paste that you put on there, everything, um, the grease from your fingertips is not going to allow for proper contact and proper application of the thermal paste on here. Then on the back, you definitely don't want to touch that no matter what. Those gold contacts obviously have to make contact with the with the motherboard, with the pins on the motherboard. So doing that will definitely mess up the contacts. So go ahead, just open it up, okay? So this is the only way I'm going to touch it, just very delicately, not touching anything back here. All right, so again, show you up close. All right, but you are going to see videos from me on how to install it on top of the videos you're going to see uh, benchmarks and everything for this guy 
and then of course benchmarks for the entire PC. Um, I'm just waiting for some parts from some very well known big guys in the industry. Uh, as soon as I get that, I'm going to build for you an awesome gaming PC. This guy, again, the Core i7-7700K, codenamed Cabby Lake, has four cores and eight threads. Each of those cores is at 4.2 gigahertz with a turbo frequency of 4.5 gigahertz. So pretty fast, eight megs of cache, eight gigatexel bus speed, a 91 uh, watt TDP. This will support up to 64 gigs on the motherboard, of course. Memory types, DDR4, 2133, 2400, then DDR3, L-1333, 1600 at 1 1.35 volts. Now, mind you, you're going to see a lot faster memory that takes more voltage and everything, so don't worry if I didn't list it. It's most definitely going to work if it does state on the memory manufacturer's website that it'll work. All right, for you, those of you that may not have a video card, it does have onboard video, HD Intel HD Graphics 630, which has a base frequency of 350 megahertz and a dynamic frequency of 1.15 gigahertz and a video max memory of 64 gigs. Obviously, the it's going to share memory with your system. All right, but. Hopefully you're not going to game on this. Uh, mind you, you can play some games, but you know you probably can't get too high. Though it does support 4K at 60 hertz, so that's kind of nice. But you probably don't want to game at that. But anyway, again, you're going to see more from me on this soon on DragonBlogger.com and DragonBlogger's YouTube site. Iggy with DragonBlogger out. See you guys.